Welcome to Wild and Crazy Cairo. So, came here last year, pretty much right around this time, and um, just enjoyed it so much that I decided we had to have a little round two. Proper vlogging gonna happen on this one. Staying in a posh little spot. We're staying at the Stegenberger Hotel. So, it's a chain all across Europe and in the Middle East, and mm, just a high-end resort. They got a spa, they got a pool, they got the security. Um, show you in a minute, but right here in Tahrir Square and just a really nice little place to stay. Um, right in the thick of things, you know, right in the city center. This isn't the tourist area. This is a tourist hotel, but step out onto these streets and you'll see that it's not a tourist area at all. So I'm gonna go on ahead and check in, give you a little rundown of the digs and hit the streets for some Egyptian food and fun. So let's go. Steigenberger. at the 10th floor here so made our way into the hotel and I mean it's looking kind of grand uh, got a 10th floor that's the top floor so I guess we're penthouse living again guys <laughs> and I mean it's not that big it's not that extravagant as I thought it was gonna be but you know I think it's well worth the price and you know got a nice little queen size bed little chair you know they're going ahead and hook you up with little suites on the way in as well as a little welcoming kit over there. I was just perusing the room service menu and it's very, very affordable. You know, get room service for $5 an item. I mean, not too bad at all. Definitely gonna try their Hawawashi and little mini bar. Of course, it's all a la carte prices, but I mean, fare as well, a dollar per soda, you know, 75 cents a candy bar, really nice. So, like I mentioned, they also have a pool here on the second floor. They have a full restaurant open 24 hours a day, gym, and a spa for massages, anything that you wanna get. So, bathroom, very nice. You know, last time I stayed in Cairo, I was in a boutique hotel, and I mean, I really highly recommend it, the Tahir Plaza Suites, but they were just fully booked this time, and I mean, this one just head and shoulders above that one. Um, yeah. Very happy to be here again. Like I mentioned in the previous vlogs in Greece, we're gonna go to Giza. We're gonna go to the Grand Bazaar. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce the name right now and I didn't do my studying before filming this. So I uh, got a few plans. And like I mentioned, we got a day for random Cairo exploration. So man, I'm gonna go down here, check out the pool, maybe go out on the streets first and get a little something to eat. Um, the McDonald's here has chicken Big Macs, guys. I mean, I know that sounds crazy. I'm in Cairo, I'm all the way across the world and I want McDonald's, but I want that chicken Big Mac from last time. Just absolutely amazing. So next stop, the streets of Cairo, Egypt. Cairo, guys, the streets. Right across the way, the Egyptian Museum. And they did open a new museum, the Grand Egyptian Museum, um, right in the Giza Plateau. But that one was really fun the last time. Um, they don't allow filming in there, but I did get a lot of nice pictures. Uh, saw some mummies, saw the King Tut exhibit. Really fun. Cool. And as you can see, just busy, busy, busy times here in Cairo. So. I'm gonna walk down here, try to find that little crepe place. I put McDonald's on hold, figured I'd show y'all some traditional Egyptian food first, so whew, let's go get it. Ah, it's like I never left, I tell you what. Still know my way around, just past my old apartment that I stayed in last time and heading on down to the crepe spot, so let's go. Tahrir Square, missed you girl, but we're back now. So we're here at the Spicy Crate, um, one of my favorite spots from last time, right here off of Bashra Muhammad, and I mean, got the shisha bar next door, so we're going to have a two for shisha, we're going to go with the peach, and we're going to go with the beef kofta, beef and lamb kofta crepe, and I mean, just amazing, amazing atmosphere out here, exactly what I wanted, so get back with y'all when we have some service. Oh, nice table side service here, really packed up in this spot, and Shisha time in Egypt. You just can't beat it, I'm telling you. Something about it here in Egypt just rubs me the right way, the absolute right way. So, I also got my little Egyptian tea, and you know, we asked for copious amounts of sugar, and we definitely got it. Put a little mint in there, I mean, just 
absolutely fantastic, guys. Wish somebody was here with me, one of you guys, all of you guys, um, show you what the real Cairo is all about. So, in case you don't know, Cairo is overrun with street dogs and street cats, and they're just everywhere. Vicious, vicious creatures. <laughs> I'm just kidding, they're actually really docile. So, we're waiting for a little crate, and dinner is served soon. So here it is, the spicy crate. And we went for the beef kofta one, which is gonna be beef and lamb mix with cheese and that glorious, glorious uh, arasi sauce. So it's gonna be a little spicy and uh, man, it's been over a year since I had this and can't wait. So let's go ahead and go into it. Mm, my Lord. I mean, he's just making them right here, table side. When I'm walking out, you know, I don't want to get in the guy's face, but I'll go ahead and show you all the process of what he's doing. He's just got two crepe burners over there, and one of my favorite things to do ever as a chef was to actually make the crepes, and wow, just absolutely amazing little first hour, two hours here in Cairo. So, this is the Tahrir Square Plaza, and we'll get a little more into the history of that soon, but I'm going to walk down this main street, go to the shopping district, and see what else we can find. So, Come along guys, Cairo. That's it, spicy crepe. Talking to the owner a little bit, and you know, he also owns the shisha bar there, so I'm gonna come back tomorrow. Um, just amazing, thanks man. Just an amazing, amazing atmosphere here. Perfect start to Cairo, and I mean, <laughs> wow. Um, I mean, more friendly interactions than I've had in any other country, uh, European, so just absolutely insane. Uh, love this city it's like a second home to me so mm. we're going to continue on down here Tahrir Square and like I said give you the history in a few minutes but now I'm going to hit the shopping district shopping district very nice and I'm telling you like I said it's just like being at home no money way around uh, this city city really stuck into my brain so go down here I want to search for some cargo pants it's about 9.05, so things might be closed, but we'll give it a fair shake. One of the modes of transportation here. Get you a little horse-drawn carriage. And I mean, just pop it. Oh, Wimpy Burger. I traveled like 20 miles last time I was here to get a Wimpy Burger, and I mean, there it is, right there, so. Yes. <laughs> Well, scratch that. Shopping district at 9 p.m. is just still popping. And I promise you a little history of Tahrir Square. And I mean, it's where they had their last revolution. Um, right by the hotel and all over, there's armed security. Actually, it's the army. So it's pretty safe in this little area, but they're always ready for that next little uprising. And I mean, as long as you treat the people right, they don't have any reason to complain. So Egypt, keep doing what you're doing, my man. Streets just go on for days and days. We had success on the cargo jeans. So last time I was here, hit up the dot jeans store. Um, just really like the cut on them, the style of them. So went on ahead and copped them cargo pants. 395 Egyptian pounds, $12, y'all. Huh. Quality, unbelievable. <laughs> So, we're going to head back the other way and in this first day in Cairo and wow, amazing. And if you never tried to cross the road in Cairo, I suggest following a local till you get the hang of it. I mean, you have to go out. There is no crosswalks. There is no red lights. Once the traffic stops, you just got to go. Um, first time I was here, I went on ahead and just once a local walked, just walked right behind them. But now... I'm a pro at it, so got a few more little sights to see up here, and let's go see them together. There's the American McDonald's, just Egyptian style. Thank you. And you know, walking through here, you're going to be accosted, you're going to be asked questions, just la shukran. Be polite about it, and they leave you alone. And if they don't, uh, just walk away. <laughs> wow. Like I said, traffic real here in Cairo got the movie theater here and I mean I really would like to go on ahead and see a movie in Arabic it'd be kind of sweet 
We got the new avatar plan. Nice. Feeding time. And your best friend here on these crowded streets is the phrase la chukra. So that is no thank you. And I mean, normally works. And if it doesn't, like I said, just keep on walking. And I don't know if y'all can see it in my face, but I'm absolutely enjoying this. I mean, just I've gone through what? seven eight different countries on this trip and i haven't had one tenth of the interaction that i've had so far so wow just an amazing place the owner at the spicy crepe slash shisha bar went on ahead and invited me to come back tomorrow and i mean the shisha the tea the crepe bottle of water 50 egyptian pounds we're talking a dollar 75 y'all i mean wow it was amazing value amazing value This is the Tahir Plaza Suites right here, where I stayed last time. Don't see any lights on in there, so not 100% sure they're still in business, which would be a pretty damn shame. And I mean, it's a really nice place. All the rooms are, you know, kind of decorated after each Egyptian god. Last time I stayed in Horus, and amazing. So, uh, gets my better wishes. I had to go on ahead and get me a pack of Egyptian cigarettes. They're kind of like the Camel Crush, but, oh man. They got jasmine pot in them, so absolutely delicious, and can't resist that here in, Ath here in Cairo. Look at that, say in Athens, still on that trip, so <laughs> amazing. Like I saw, like you saw the first time, Egyptian Museum, and the traffic, it's now 10.30 at night, still booming. So Cairo is definitely a city that never sleeps. And I mean, a lot of cities claim that, but this one is it. So if you're a light sleeper, I suggest bringing earbuds, earplugs, because you ain't gonna get no sleep, I'm telling you now. Last time I was here, I think you had a quiet time between 3 a.m. and 5 p.m. And that's it. Other than that, it's honk honk all day long. So got a little store up here. Gonna grab me some of them Arabian beverages. You know I'm in love, so hoping to find a Selecto, maybe an Ananas and show you what we get once we get there. And actually, I'll go on ahead and stay on because it's right here. Show you the little storefront. You see, just delicious beverages. So let's see what we can get a taste of the motherland. Success, picked up a rainy float that I never had before, as well as a Miranda that I've never had. So looking forward to trying these few Arabian drinks here in the country and man, I hope this audio is coming out well because there's so much background noise up in here. Fun times. We're back at the hotel and just gonna get a little peek at the facilities here. So this is a gym open 24 hours a day and hey, got everything one could need. Water on deck. Oh, gonna like that. I can see the pool through there. And if that's it, oh, it looks amazing. And on to the pool. Oh, so it's a little outside one. It's got some beautiful lighting. And we'll go up here and just see if we can get a little peek seat at the pool. Not film anybody, you know, butt naked swimming or anything like that. <laughs> there it is. Nice little pool. Not sure how the water is, but I think we're going to take a dip before we leave. One of them days when it turns 80 degrees out here. It'll be a nice little addition to the stay here in Cairo and I mean whew, so far so good love that street interactions tonight uh, can't wait to get out there tomorrow not 100% sure what we're going to do tomorrow whether it's going to be the Giza Plateau in the city of Giza or if we're going to go on ahead and go to the bazaar the grand market out here but we'll figure it out together and I think we're going to go down check out the bar and close this one out there so See you down in stairs at the Steigen Burger. Now we've made our way down to the little bar area and perusing the menu once again, very affordable. So last time I was here, I tried the Egyptian Stella beer, but this time they have a different one here. This is called Saqqara Gold. So this one here, I mean, 98 Egyptian pounds. We're looking at about $3.20 American. I mean, wow, just, Really, really happy to be here back in Egypt where the dollar goes so far, you know? And, you know, 
Egypt has a big tipping culture, so you're going to look out for the bartender. When I was at the shisha bar, the guy that was tending the coals looked out for him. The guy that was making the crepe looked out for him, so it's just how it's supposed to go. And let's give this premium Egyptian lager, Saqqara Gold, a little taste here. Mm. You see the head on that thing. That is a nice beer right there. Absolutely amazing. So, I think I've showed you all I can show you for day one here in Cairo. Um, really looking forward to getting out there again. Uh, pyramids and whatnot. You know, just random exploration as always, guys. Um, got a few more little hot spots of food that I want to go back to that I'll show you. So, guys, we're just starting here in Cairo. Four days and it's going to be amazing. It's, uh, it's going to get a little hotter from here. It's going to be in the 70s tomorrow, 80s the next day. So, uh, can't break out the shorts, you know, this is a conservative Muslim country, that's why you only drink beer in here in the bar, you're not going to walk the streets drinking beer, and I'm going to wear my long sleeves always, not just because I have tattoos, but because it's just common courtesy here to cover up. I see a lot of Westerners walking around with, uh, you know, just shorts and a short sleeve shirt, it's just, it's just disrespectful to the culture here, so always respect the culture of where I'm at and they respect you right back so guys you know stick around we're gonna have a lot more fun here in Cairo and until the next time take it easy and peace from my favorite place in the world Cairo Egypt